Yes, well, it's me again. This is the third part um, of this little set of videos, just to give you a basic overview of bits and pieces. Um, what we're going to cover now is something called MailPoet, which I've installed onto the website. The reason I've had to install MailPoet is because I was having a problem and a, a software clash with MailChimp. Um, MailPoet, though, is an excellent starter system to get used to it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll quickly run through how to do it. Uh, bu 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 there we go. So I'm still in Barber Wanted. So if you look down the side, you've got Mail Poet here. And you've also got Opt in Revolution. Opt in Revolution is our actual opt in screen that appears. I've not been on Planet Barber today, so if I go there, it should hopefully pop up. The settings are for it to only pop up one per browsing session. So if you wonder why you don't see it time and time again, that's the reason. Boom. Okay. So it's nice looking. It just sits in the middle of there until they turn it off. They go, or they go in, put their email address in, get access now. You save their email. They're into your subscriber list. And... Um, that's it, they can go and access the site. If they don't want to, they just click up there and switch it off. Nice and easy, and it looks great. So you can switch it. Like I said, you go down to Optin Revolution settings, switch it on and off. You can have it set to always, once per browser session. Always would mean every time you change your page, it will flick up and you'll see it. As I said here, it should work with MailChimp, but I've had to send off a thing because it was just crashing all the time for some reason. Okay. So, that's your very basic settings. Opt-in pop-up one. We only need one, one for this. Later on, once we get more advanced, we might want more going on. So we can add more then, but that is a premium setting. But I couldn't actually access it to even give you a price on that at the moment because it's having problems. Um, okay, so this is your style. If you want to change what's written on it, just click on it so you get this text to pop up. At the moment, it's set to allow layers to be dragged by these bottom corners. To switch that off, click on that. These other bits will then open up. Click on where you want to change it. Press to the alpha. And you can come in and you can change what you want. So you can do that for all of them. Well, I'd recommend we think up a couple of good products that we can release on here to give people the incentive to go on and actually take it. As I said, it's all activated with MailPoet, which I'll go into in a sec. And change the colors, change the background, which I've just put to invisible because otherwise it's like that gray. Set the pop up seconds delay. I'm going to put it to say, let's put it seven seconds before it even pops up. And just have a mess around, you can change it to different bits and pieces. Once you're done, save your settings. That's it. So that's now ready. That will pop up like it did on Barber Wanted. Um, sorry, on Planet Barber, whenever you, you want it. Um, now to post out from there, because they put their in, email in. And it gets saved into your users so if you ever want to look once you start because you'll start getting notifications those users will start popping up on this page say they're a subscriber um, and they will also be captured here so you go to mail poet okay and you can see I've put the first email in this is on the list called Barber Wanted Newsletter it's not active at the moment, but it will be shortly. So we can go into edit. And you choose what it is. 
automatic because when it goes straight away as soon as someone describes it is sent immediately thanks for subscribing go through design that mail letter so I'll put on the um, bits and pieces a bit from the blog you can put the footer information in it automatically puts that in there this will disappear if you want to go in and change stuff you can go in Websites. This one as well, so I'll put it there. So what that's been done as a heading two. Just do it as a heading two just to make it look the same. Centralize it. There you go. Save those changes. As you can see it's put different bits and pieces in, just copy them across to other bits. Okay, do my maths. James Martin. Activate. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's your first one's activated. So as soon as people start signing up, this is what they'll get. It'll tell you how many people have subscribed, how many people have opened, how many people have clicked it. So when you want to create a new one, you do you see here this is Barber Wanted Newsletter. So you'll see where that so you go create new email. Okay, standard newsletter. Will just send immediately so when you send we've written it click it boom that will go out if you want to do an automatic one so you can have it when there's new content um, or when someone's joined the list when some subscribe so when there's new content do it once a day at six in the evening Jobs. Now it's here, Barber Wanted Newsletter. Next step. Okay, we can put the logo in. Automatic latest content. Edit and it shows it. It's telling you what you need to do. Again, put more in, do a little alert. Go next step, next step. If you wanted to put your social bookmarks in, you just want people to share it. And so block here. And you've got How are you going to do it? Obviously, you're going to go in and change these in the settings. You can choose what style you want. Very quite funky, quite in style with. So. Ok, 
Can I? Come on. So you just need to go and put in your details there. There you go. So that's in there. Once you've clicked them all in once, these details will all just stay in. Um, and that's it. Next step, next step. Um, you'll be there. If you want to add images, click on the images. You need to add it to MailPoet first. So you go to Post or Upload. So you want that one to put in. That now appears there. You can copy that across into a content block, and that becomes part of it. If you fancy changing your styles, you can go in and have a mess around. And you can choose different themes or buy more themes. Very, very flexible. Once you've gone through, saved it, boom, that's people into your subscription list. You're saving up email subscribers, and you can start contacting them all. And like I said, this is set across all three websites. So you just need to go in, probably write a couple of emails to keep them interested and capture in on the first couple of days. And then you're, you're good to go.